what is regression analysis regression analysis include a set of all statistical methods used for the estimation of relationship between a group of independent variables and dependent variables the purpose of regression analysis is either to describe the strength of the relationship between the two groups of variables or to predict new values for y variables regression analysis include several variations such as linear multiple linear and non-linear names for x and y variable the x and y variables can be denoted with a variety of terms the most common ones are for x variable different names are used like predictors independent variables factors spectra chromatogram for y variable the names like responses dependent variables responses constitute and concentration are most commonly used uh, simple linear regression simple linear regression or bivariate regression establish the relationship between a vector of independent variables and dependent variables the simple linear regression model is expressed using the following equation y is equal to a plus bx plus the error term where y depend y stand for dependent variable x stand for independent variable a stand for the intercept b stand for stand for slope or regression coefficient and here epsilon this is the residual or uh, random errors linear model assumption there are six fundamental assumptions the first one the dependent and independent variables show a linear relationship between the slope and the intercept the second one the independent variables is not random third assumption is the value of the residual error is near to zero the fourth one the value of the residual is constant across all observations the value of the residual error is not correlated across all observations the residual error values follow the normal distribution here in this diagram you see this is the regression line and here you see the dot the distance between the dot and the regression line this we call residual error okay and here in this uh, uh, diagram you see that the residual errors are randomly distributed around the around the regression line are uh, different ways for representation of linear regression model mathematically linear regression model is expressed as y is equal to a plus b into x plus error term where b is the regression coefficient in the most important term because it is used for future prediction of y in order to predict the magnitude of y the new x data is simply multiplied with b here you see y is equal to b into x new data b can be obtained by dividing the the delta y by delta x that is the slope uh, diagrammatically the linear regression model is shown as here you see this is a response the dependent variables is equal to regression coefficient and here you see this is the predictors or the independent variables graphically here you see this is the graphical representation of a linear regression model here you see this is the x variable and the y variable here you see this is the regression line and here you see the the this is the the this dot shows the the point from for the sample for each sample it is for one sample for another sample for third sample and four and so on and the 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 difference between the the the, the sample dot and the regression line is we call deviation and it is also known as residual error the deviation of actual point of a sample from the regression line is known as residual 
मल्टीपल लीनियर रेग्रेशन एम एल आर मल्टीपल लीनियर रेग्रेशन एनालिसिस इज इसेंशियली सिमिलर टू द सिंपल लीनियर मॉडल विद द एक्सेप्शन दैट मल्टीपल इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स दैट इज एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री एंड सो ऑन आर यूज इन द मॉडल द मैथमेटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ मल्टीपल लीनियर रेग्रेशन मॉडल इज वाई इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी एक्स वन प्लस सी एक्स टू प्लस डी एक्स थ्री सो ऑन प्लस एरस्टम वेयर वाई स्टैंड फॉर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री एंड सो ऑन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स ए इज इंटरसेप्ट बी सी डी एंड सो ऑन स्लोप्स आर रेग्रेशन कॉफिशंट एंड एफ सलान दिस इज द एरस्टम मल्टीपल लीनियर रेग्रेशन follows the same condition as the simple linear model however there are several independent variables there is another mandatory condition for the multiple linear regression model that is non collinearity independent variable should show a minimum of correlation ship with each other if the independent variables are highly correlated with each other it will be difficult to assess the true relationship between the dependent variable and independent variable the objective of mlr is to find the vector of regression coefficient that minimizes the error term this is where the least square criteria on the squared error term is used find b so that the summation of square of deviation is minimized MLR estimate the model coefficient by using the equation this equation or simply we can say b is equal to delta y by delta x regression coefficient show how each variable is weighed when predicting a particular y response regression coefficient are characteristic of all regression methods and provide great interpretive great interpretive insight into the quality of a model and are also used for future prediction of y from x new data set mlr has the the following properties and behavior the number of x variable must be smaller than the number of samples in case of collinearity among x variable the b coefficient are not reliable and the model may be unstable mlr tend to overfit when noisy data are used principal component regression pcr pcr is a two step procedure which first decompose x matrix by pca into different scores and loading then using mlr relationship to fit the regression model in between the scores of pca and with the response variable y in this diagram here you see we have a data matrix which containing three vectors x1 x2 x3 what the pcr is doing first decompose the x matrix into into pc1 and pc2 pc1 is the 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 vector which carrying uh, maximum variation and then it's the second one this is the second component the next one what does the pcr is doing pcr is just is doing is is establishing a relationship a simple relationship like mlr uh, between the the pca score plot and the y variable this method performs particularly well when the various x variable express common information that when there is a large amount of correlation or even collinearity pcr uses the same score and loading as pca since pca is used in the decomposition of x y is then projected onto the plan defined by the mlr equation and no extra score or loading are required for y variables partial least square regression plsr plsr is similar to principal component analysis to extract a set of components that describe maximum correlation ship between the scores of x and y variables so in pls we are doing pca on both x and y data matrices to decompose them into score and loading of both here in this diagram you see here 
here you see this is the x data matrix and doing PCA on x data matrix so we are getting the score t1 similarly this is the y data matrix and doing the PCA on y data matrix so here we are getting the u and then doing the the then doing the PLSR between the score of that is T1 and U1. This is the score from the from the X data matrix and this is the score from the Y data matrix. And here we are getting what this is the regression line that is the best fit between the score of these uh, of these two. Uh, this slide shows the the strategy of PLS. Our procedure in this diagram here you see this is the X data matrix here this is the Y data matrix now up doing the PCA on X data matrix so we are getting the scores and loading similarly doing PCA on the Y data matrix so we are getting scores and loading then after getting scores from X data matrix and scores from the Y data matrix then doing the PLSR to maximize the correlation between the scores from X data and score from responses. And here we are getting what? We are getting the regression line or the regression model. That is the PLSR model. So PLSR model, actually this is the, the, the best fit in between the score coming from the, the PCA on X data matrix and the score coming the PCA from the Y data matrix.